Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Beans. Today, in the continuation of our series on Hadoop uh, scenario based interview questions, today we'll look uh, what are the different root causes for out of memory errors and issues, and what are the different remediations and tuning parameters and configurations available in the Hadoop world to avoid out of memory issues. So, guys, let's start. So uh, the question goes, uh, did you ever run a bulky lopsided or a heavy Hadoop job that resulted in out of memory issues ever? I'm sure the answer from most of you would be yes. So the bigger question here is how to handle or how to remediate uh, or avoid out of memory issues in the Hadoop job. Um, out of memory, as you all know, is the most common error in the MapReduce jobs. And the uh, reason is quite simple because data keeps on growing uh, with different sizes. And uh, you never uh, can estimate the right amount of uh, uh, data that would be processed. Definitely a very challenging environment for developers to estimate the right amount of you know, memory needs to be allocated for a particular Hadoop job and uh, because of which uh, most of the time you will see heavy uh, and long running bad jobs will result in out of memory issues and uh, but the good point in the hadoop hdfs world is it's not only admins that can uh, you know allocate more resources so that the cluster can be more resourceful but at the development level developer also have uh, given an opportunity to manage their own jobs. And this is facilitated through a number of different tuning parameters and configurations available to uh, do the allocation of resources for a particular job on a optimized way. So guys, let's see what are the different uh, parameters and configurations which can be used to tune a Hadoop job. Um, first property uh, which we'll see uh, and uh, before we look at uh, look into the different properties that we can uh, tune and uh, set the configured values we have to make sure that these values are set appropriately based on the available resource in the cluster so you'll have to make sure what is the overall resources available uh, with you at the cluster level um, resources means say if you have a 10 node cluster or just taking example on each node you have 10 gig of memory that means the memory resource available across your cluster is 100 gig similarly if you have a 10 node uh, cluster say with the 10 core on each node that means you have 100 core of resource available across the cluster so based on these uh, uh, based on the underlying cluster configuration we'll have to customize and set the values for uh, these different properties. So if you see the first property is uh, mapreduce.map.memory.mb. So it is the maximum amount of memory used by a mapper within a particular container. When we are saying container, we are specifically talking about one task which is operated upon and that task is uh, taken care uh, in the form of one map execution. So this property gives the maximum amount of memory that could be allocated for a mapper. And uh, we can optimize in a way that we know uh, that what, what is the number of concurrent mappers going to run for a particular job and what is the total memory available across the clusters. Second important uh, or a complementary uh, property to this one is mapreduce.map.java.ops. It is the maximum amount of heap size which is used by a mapper and it must be less than the above value, right? Uh, the above value is uh, the total heap mam uh, value allocated, right? Uh, within a container, Con when you say container, in the first one, when we said within a container, it means we are talking about one JVM. One task execution would be happen as in, inside one JVM, right? And uh, in that JVM, uh, the first property gives you the maximum memory allocated within that JVM uh, what could be the maximum amount of memory which could be allocated to your heap size right uh, that is defined by the second property 
and obviously it should be less than the total memory at the container level right so that you have to leave some memory to run different kind of uh, daemon processes and stuff like that uh, similarly this one on the map side we have a corresponding property on the reduce side map reduce dot reduce dot memory dot mbs it is the maximum amount of memory used by a reducer within a container right so within one jvm process this is the maximum amount of memory allocated on the reducer side similarly there is the next property is the supplementary to that which says this is the maximum amount of memory which would be allocated to the heap so obviously it should be less than the first one and uh, a very important property though it is mostly used by the uh, cluster admins yarn dot scheduler dot maximum allocation dot mb so this property allows the maximum allocation size for a container right this is the maximum allocation size for a, for a container uh, which can be uh, created or scheduled by the underlying resource manager which is yarn so but this requires administrative privileges this cannot be done at the development level but a very important property indeed to be configured so that the right amount of memory is available for the job execution so to avoid the outer memory issues apart from that there are some other factors also which will impact your memory and uh, uh, utilizations and cause outer memory issues uh, such as spilling data over disk which can be corrected using following configurations so most of the time it will happen that you know you're trying to process a particular data but <clears throat> it cannot be contained within the memory and it will be spilled over to the disk which will cause a lot of ios and will result in the outer memory issues as well and uh, the first property in this line is you have map reduce dot reduce dot shuffle dot input dot buffer dot percentage this is the usage threshold at which an in memory merge will be initiated expressed as percentage of the total memory allocated to storing in memory map outputs so whatever the total memory you have allocated for the in memory uh, map execution this property is takes the percentage out of that which will which will become a threshold that if it touches that much percentage then an in memory merge will be initiated and the merge will be initiated so that uh, so to reduce the shuffle so merge will happen it will combine uh, say n number of smaller files and make a bigger object and that will be transferred across the nodes rather than you know sending the smaller nodes uh, during shuffling over the network in the cluster and increase the traffic and network overheads so this is that property second property is map reduce dot reduce dot shuffle dot memory dot limit dot percentage it is the maximum percentage of the in memory limit that a single shuffle can consume so during shuffling there is a memory need uh, how the data would be uh, serialized uh, and send over the wire and this percentage defines that how much could be taken for that functionality from the overall memory allocated to an individual container um, similarly there's one more important property for advanced configuration and this is map reduce dot reduce dot shuffle dot parallel dot copies it defines the number of parallel transfers run by reduce during the shuffle phase you know shuffle phase is the phase which will uh, mostly uh, you know, causes the outer memory because it's trying to send the data across and to send the data across it needs to be serialized and to serialize the data packet it needs to be bring into the memory and if that memory doesn't see suffice for that uh, amount of data it will result in the outer memory issues um, so guys these are some of the remediations in the form of uh, configurations and parameters which can be tuned to avoid the outer memory issues so that's it in this particular video have a good day ahead bye bye